Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to another edition of Flick News. The show here on Flick Direct where I give you guys the latest that happened in entertainment news throughout the week and then I give you all my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host Austin Pundit Man. Guys, there was so much that happened this week, in particular on Thursday, which is where we're starting off this week's show. So on Thursday, Disney had their investors day to which I'm calling it their press conference because there was so so much that was talked about. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to talk about everything that Disney had unveiled and announced during this entire Investor's Day, but I just had to choose the stuff that stood out to me the very most, as I always do during the show. So, kicking off with the Investor's Day announcement. So, this announcement, I almost screamed. I was in so much joy. So, first of all, kicking off in the world of Star Wars. So, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm about to cry. This made me so happy. So, just getting right to the chase. Patty Jenkins is making a Star Wars movie. I think it's called Star Wars Rogue Squadron or Star Wars Squadrons. I'm all in. You don't need to tell me anything else. It's a Star Wars film being made by Patty Jenkins and it's focusing on the dogfighting of the Star Wars universe. You don't need to say any more than that. She talked about how her dad was an Air Force and how basically she wanted to combine the thrills and the tragedy of that along with something that she absolutely loved. She put on a Star Wars helmet and walked towards an X-Wing before it was announced. Star Wars Squadrons and literally... I almost jumped out of my seat. I was so excited. There's no teaser. There's no trailer. They literally haven't shot a single amount of footage. All that we know is that Patty Jenkins is making a Star Wars film, and I'm all in. So on to our next Star Wars announcement. I saw this, and my jaw dropped because I would have never expected this to happen, but I saw this, and I thought, you know what? Good on this guy for coming back. The Obi-Wan series is still coming to Disney+. Plus. It's one of my most anticipated shows of... Is it coming out next year or is it the year afterwards? And Disney just dropped a bombshell about the Obi-Wan series. So guys, get this. Not only is Ewan McGregor returning as Obi-Wan Kenobi, but Hayden Christensen is returning as Darth Vader. I know that there are a lot of people out there that probably still give Hayden Christensen a lot of crap for his performances and Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, even though I thought he did good for the script he was given. But knowing that he's returning as Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan series, and apparently according to him, now I don't know who said this, but apparently someone said that he and Ewan McGregor will once again trade blows in the series. And I cannot freaking wait. I don't know how far they are into shooting, but they just announced this. I cannot wait to see where the series goes. Who saw this coming? Holy crap. And if you thought that the mind-blowing news stopped there, oh, we have only just begun, guys. Getting on to our next little story here. Now, we don't know too much about this, but I heard this and I just thought this is absolutely perfect. So, Toy Story is one, is probably the most recognizable Pixar brand out there. I mean, Pixar has made some amazing films. But I feel like that a lot of people will point to Toy Story as probably the most recognizable Pixar brand. I mean, that's just me saying that because I love Toy Story. There is apparently going to be a Buzz Lightyear series coming to Disney+. Plus, and Tim Allen is not going to come back to reprise his role of Buzz Lightyear, even though I think that would be amazing. It's going to be a younger Buzz Lightyear. And guess who is going to be voicing Buzz Lightyear? Chris Evans. Yes, Captain America himself is voicing Buzz Lightyear. And the more that I think about it, it's honestly perfect. From what I have gathered, there's really not much known about this Buzz Lightyear series other than that I believe it concentrates on a younger Buzz Lightyear. I mean, I'm excited about that alone because given what Buzz Lightyear talked about in the first Toy Story, there is so much that they could go into. So knowing this and knowing that Chris Evans is Buzz Lightyear, Holy crap! If you guys remember during last year's Comic Con during the Marvel panel, Kevin Feige right before the panel ended talked about many of the earlier films, well not really early films, but many of the films, the future films, the MCU I should say, that are early in development. But one of the announcements that Kevin Feige brought was the Fantastic Four movie, and once again another bombshell dropped. So, According to the Disney Investors Day panel, or this big thing that happened, Fantastic Four is currently in development, and they did announce the director of the film, and that director is John Watts, the director of this new Spider-Man trilogy. I mean, 
is he making the third Spider-Man film? This was a choice that I wasn't expecting. I mean, John Watts is a great director. I mean, I love his work on the Spider-Man movies so far. I would have loved to have seen John Krasinski directing or maybe even a Matthew Vaughn directing. I think that Krasinski would have been a great choice. But you know what? John Watts, I think, has proven himself within the MCU. I'm excited to see where he's going to take the Fantastic Four. I really, really am. I'm excited to see what you deliver for Fantastic Four. Not only did we get a couple of bombshell announcements on Disney's Investors Day, but we also got a couple of special looks behind a couple of Disney Plus series coming out very, very soon, starting off with a trailer for the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which looks a ton of fun. We also got a new trailer for WandaVision. We also got a special look for Loki. And we got a special look at the Cassian Andor series coming to Disney Plus. Coming up on to our last news story of this week. Not gonna lie to you guys, my boss was so ecstatic over this news and I am thrilled as well. I don't know if this was during the Investor Day or if this was announced afterwards. So, for any of you Alien fans... You're going to be very happy about this. I liked the Alien prequels. Like, I liked Prometheus. I liked Alien Covenant, even though it's been polarizing amongst audiences. And I've been waiting to see if there's going to be any continuation of that. I don't know if this is a continuation or if this is something else within the Alien franchise. I'm pretty sure this was during the Disney Investor Day. But according to them, a brand new Alien series, a TV series, was announced for FX. This is absolutely amazing. I have been waiting to see any continuation of Alien ever since Alien Covenant because I liked Alien Covenant. In fact, I had a grand old time with it, even though it's not as good as Prometheus, but I still enjoyed it. Now, I don't know much about the show at all. It's an Alien series is coming to FX, and I am hyped for this. Talk about a hell of a week for entertainment news. Seriously, Disney Investor Day you done good, pal. you done good. Anyways, guys, so comment down, let us know below. Talk to me and let me know about how you guys feel about all the announcement during Investment Day. Or, sorry, not Investment Day, Investor Day. I do apologize that I wasn't able to go over everything, but I don't have all the time in the world and for us to talk about it all. But let me know below how do you guys feel about Patty Jenkins making a Star Wars film? How do you guys feel about Chris Evans being a part of the Buzz Lightyear show? Also, for Hayden Christensen coming back as Darth Vader for the Obi-Wan series? Also, how do you guys feel about all the special looks that we got behind the scenes for Disney Plus shows like the Cassian Andor show, Loki, Falcon the Winter Soldier, also WandaVision. Also, when it comes to Fantastic Four being directed by John Watts, do you guys think that he may not be the right choice, or do you think that he is a good choice? I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe and notification bell whenever the latest video from us goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two shows, please click on the right there or there. And of course, until next week's show, we will see you guys next week. Have a great week, guys.